Welcome to Kandinsky Inspired Art. My name is Stephanie at the Plano Public Library. Kandinsky Inspired Art is ideal for children between the ages of three to five years. However, if we have little ones older or younger, that is okay. In this video, we will be combining music and art as we explore abstract art concepts appropriate for this age group through a fun activity. Before we begin, do you know what abstract art is? Abstract art is when artists use just three things to create art, lines, shapes, and colors. Artist Vasily Kandinsky combined abstract art with his love for music to create his artwork. By allowing the music to inspire him, Kandinsky painted his emotions. Kandinsky's art was non-objective abstract art. Do you know what non-objective means? Non-objective is a fancy word that means he didn't paint things such as houses or people. Instead, Kandinsky's art looks like different things to different people. Now gather your materials and join us as we listen to music and create. As we listen to the music, let's let it inspire us. Consider what emotions it makes you feel. By discussing these emotions with your child, you can help expand their vocabulary skills. Today we explored how we can combine art and music to inspire abstract, non-objective masterpieces. How did the music make you feel? What shapes did you use? What colors? Remember that abstract art is made of lines, shapes, and colors, and non-objective art may look like different things to different people. Combining art and music can help your child develop narrative skills as they discuss how the music made them feel and explain the various aspects of their art piece. Children with strong narrative skills tend to have an easier time learning to read. In addition, painting and scribbling is an early stage in writing development, which can also help them develop early literacy skills that will help them learn to read when they are ready. What can you do at home? Pick some of your favorite songs together, either with lyrics or without. Pay attention to how the music makes you feel and be inspired to create your very own abstract, non-objective masterpiece. Discuss your creations with one another and help build vocabulary skills and identify new emotions with your little one. This will help them build upon their early literacy skills. You can also check out one of our eBooks on Kandinsky and explore his masterpieces, trying to analyze what emotions he was feeling when he made each piece. 